Hello and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Uh, what do we? Oh yeah, that's right. We have the we have the charm, the King's Soul, which makes it so that we passively regenerate soul, which is pretty awesome. It's insanely expensive, but pretty awesome. Uh, we have. I'm gonna do some backtracking. Well, it is backtracking, but it's mostly just some cleanup. Uh, I'm at the point now where I think I need to go to the Forgotten Crossroads and visit the Black Egg Temple and see what that does for me. Not sure what to expect. Well, I actually have no idea what to expect. Uh, therefore, there are a couple of things that I want to follow up on before we uh, before we jump into that little pile of fun so uh the first one is the the abyss down here there was an area that had the hint that there was that it needed maybe some kind of blue uh what are these called life seeds so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of uh i'm gonna remember how the controls work first and then grab some of this because this will give me some life seed right yeah I really have no idea. I'm, I'm stretching on this one, but I figure I'd give it a shot because it's right here and it's on my list. So let's do it. I think we want to go down here. There are a couple of other things too. I was uh, observing the map, doing uh, some little thinking time with the map. Uh, we're still missing quite a few things. I'm not confident I'm going to get nearly all of them before the end of the game. But, you know, we'll give it the old college try. Our pure vessel has ascended beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. Mm -hmm. We know all about that. We know all about that. The other thing is we uh, probably make an endeavor to... not lose that i didn't know there was stuff there all right let's do this then let's just see okay so there's one there i just want to see how i can get down here without uh there we go okay so we just need to be it there we go we need to be careful of that spike action that goes up and around I don't think there's a, and the soundtrack here is great. I don't think there's a bench down here, so we need to go back up, but that's fine. It's not too far. Uh, I think, except I'm not exactly sure where I am right now. Is it up here? It must be. Uh, I definitely fell a lot farther than I anticipated. All right. Well, this should have been a lot shorter than it actually was, but that's all right. Just a hop, skip, and a jump back up to the, the bench. And then, yeah, so it was a, I don't know, a chest or something, and it had all that uh, blue blue leaves and such that you find near life seeds. And it said something about just something. I don't remember exactly. It definitely has the life seed theme, but I'm not really sure what it's looking for. And the only thing I could think of was maybe showing up with some life seed of your own and using that to maybe empower the chest or open it. Or maybe it's not a chest at all. Maybe it's, oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> not paying attention, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so we go down here, we go down here. And then here, yes. Hey, it lit up. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, are you kidding me? How many is that? That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. <laughs> Do you need like 14 life seed to activate this? Or... How does that work exactly? So there's still two there. If I 
does it open this or does it open this? That's the question. If I leave and come back with two more, will it be empty? Let's just double check here. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Looks like 14 nodules. Do I need to come here with 14? Cause I, I'd have to hit like every single one of them. And this would be like a whole heck of a lot tougher than, uh, Uh, then the the gray mornings quest because holy cow that's like you'd have to go to all of them I think you get like three per right and then you get maybe an extra two from so you need well you need to visit if you got three per you need to visit four and then have this uh, on you, but you can't rest because resting gets rid of the ones you have, unless you have the charm equipped, I believe. And we'll just verify that. By well, we'll verify whether this thing resets. I, I would wager that hitting a bench resets that thing. Otherwise, what would be the point? I mean, you could just do this. It's a little bit tedious, but... Uh, that one I'm not so sure about. I'd really like to see what that does. Then again... Yeah. Fourteen. What does that mean? Well, you'd need... Well, the... I mean, you could use fast travel. So, I guess in that respect, if you could find four of them that were nearby fast travel, there's two there, but that's not anywhere near fast travel. Uh, there's one up here. So there's one in Green Path. That one should be easy to get. Then there's one in King's Path. That one should be easy to get. Then there's one in the Ancestral Mound. That should be easy to get. Or would it? Uh, I'm not so sure about that one. Are there any other easy ones to get? Ideally, you'd have... Well, you have one in Fog Canyon, but uh, Fog Canyon is not exactly... Well, it's not too bad. It could be worse. Deep Nest is not my favorite place. It's actually my least favorite place. And there's no easy fast travel from there. These two seem like they would be easy. Maybe. Is there a fourth one that's kind of easy-ish? That's not easy. Uh, there are none down here, which is unfortunate. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot of options. I guess you could try to do these four. Okay, well, we at least know what the score is with that one. The next thing I wanted to do was take a quick peek over here for the bees. So let's... Um, let's get out of here. Yes, and I'm actually not going to spend a whole lot of time here, but I mean, I think we have to, it's kind of on the way anyways, but um, I know there's more, more to the B area than I was able to find in my first pass. I kind of want to check that out, so let's do that first, or next rather. And then we'll see. I, I This isn't as bad as I thought, but the other thing that we have to keep in mind is that uh, where's the nearest fast travel to this area? I mean, getting down here is not too bad. I think you'd almost have to come from King Station. So that's not actually too bad. You just have to be careful. You have to be very careful, but yeah, I don't know. I 
I do not know about that one. I at first it seems like it'd be a lot harder than the gray mortar, but maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's go this way, and because I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling, I'm going to put my pin back on. Which means oh, I might have to get rid of this, which is not my favorite thing in the world, but getting lost is even less savory. Nope, we do actually want to have all of our slots taken. Wish I had just one more. Perfect. Oh well. So, we need to go up and take the tram. So let's do that. Let's just be mindful of these little fellows because they... If I can actually get through here without losing the two that I have... Oh man, that sucks. Then I might be in decent shape. It might instill some confidence in me, but... Yes. Summon the tram for me, my good man. We'll take it out to the Kingdom's Edge. I don't think there's a whole lot in the Kingdom's Edge that I haven't explored. Um, I should also make sure not to accidentally sit on benches. There was the Colosseum of Fools, and I think... I'm not sure if that was in the Kingdom's Edge, but... It has its own unique icon, which... Kind of scares me. <laughs> but who knows. Yep. Not my favorite place. Whoa, hey! How about that, huh? How about that? Man. <laughs> the Hive! This is a completely new area! that I've never been to. Obviously, but... Wow, this is so cool. I'll bet this is how I got to that other area. Or how I get to that other area, rather. What on earth is that? I don't know, but I just killed it, and it gave me a... an entry. And the hunter log. Well, this is gonna be tricky, but... Interesting. It's down here. Geos. All right. It's a lot of buzzing. That does fills me with unease. Okay. I kind of feel silly for not finding this place in my first pass, but I was kind of trying to find I figured there would be an area like a false wall or floor or something that I'd have to find so I was kind of on the lookout for it but I would not have been looking for it the first time I came through because I didn't even know this place existed all right where are we oh my good gravy this is deep this is deep uh, let's go uh, Yeah, let's go left. Just see what we have here. This is good because we might find the like remaining vessel fragment or mask piece that we need. What on earth is that? Oh my god. Wow. Jeez, that guy is uh, temperamental. That's alright though. Oh, look at that! That is so cool. <laughs> it's suspended in honey. Like, freaking heavily solidified honey. Holy cow. Didn't know honey could be that hard. Map updated. Okay, well, I'm quite happy about that. So, we've got, we still have some more areas to explore. That's good. I'm still hopeful, because this is a pretty big area. It's a pretty interesting and unique area, too. I like the, uh, the high of the aesthetic, for sure. Um, but who knows? Mm, yes. 
That seems reasonable. Oh, another one of these. That's good. I don't give a ton, but get rid of that guy. And steal all of the geos. I'm quickly getting my uh, geo. Really, really not what I want to see. Those guys actually aren't too bad. But anyways, as I was saying, I'm quickly getting my geo levels back to where they were before I was swindled. That's no good. That is also no good. What am I? How am I gonna hit him all the way down here? I mean, I can't. It's luckily he's pretty uh, zealous about killing me, so he came to me. It's up here. all my stuff. Wasn't really expecting to keep it here in this new area anyways, but still a little disappointing. Alright, what do we have over here? And we'll just smack... Oh! No, not what I wanted. Sneaky. Is there another one? Yeah. I thought as much. Interesting. All right, well, let's heal up. See what holds, or what the next area holds for us. Or bees, obviously. Uh, okay. That looks like a large bee. That is definitely a large bee. Holy crap, that's a large bee. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Yep, that's a big B. <laughs> alright, well, let's explore down here first, I guess. This takes us over here. Well, alright, fine. We'll go up. Oh, he continues after he bounces. Oh, he's breaking everything. I wish you wouldn't do that, man. Wow. This guy is definitely... all over the place. Uh, I also... Well, no, that's, that's still fine. I mean, we can still get up here, so... Holy crap. Okay, I should just get out of there. When that happens. There you go. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't linger when uh, he goes into bananas mode. It's alright though. Alright, so we've got a lot of bees so far. Like a lot of bees. Look at that. You were not able to assault me with your little stinger attack. Okay, good. So those ones with cracks in them are the ones that they'll blow up, I guess. Or the big guys will blow up when they bounce off of them. Makes sense. Uh, but we're kind of all over the place. This is a huge sub-area. Oh, look at that. That was a good... Good, quick three hits on him. Okay, so there's a lot of Geo here. Uh, I'm getting the Geos, definitely. I um, was kind of hoping there'd be something more to get, though. What on earth? What on earth? Man, I just gotta... Just gotta take you out with the old fireball. Okay. Um, 
Interesting. Oh, you guys. You guys messed up my strategy. Alright, well that's fine. It's over here. Oh man! That's gotta be it! No, I, I can't get in that way! I had to go from the other way! Aw, oh, you kidding me? You tempt me, game, you tempt me! Tantalize me with tasty morsels. Oh crap, that's gonna hurt. I need to get rid of you. And I need to get rid of you. Neither of you uh, make me happy. Okay, well that's actually really good. Or it will be when I figure out how the heck to get to it. What on earth is over there? Uh. Oh, shoot. You know, I should really kind of learn the angles that these... Or realize that these guys are bouncing off of angles. I did go up there, did I not? And there, this was a dead end? Yeah, okay. The question is, how does one... Hmm. Where am I? There's gotta be a way from the other side? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna have to go back and figure that one out, but... Hmm. Okay, interesting. I am very, very uh, interested in getting that because that might be the last mask piece that we need. Maybe. This strikes me as odd. Like there's something waiting for me over here. Oh yeah. It's a warrior. How cool is that? It's a warrior. Uh, uh that's scary. What is this? Hive blood, this is another Oh man, we're so close. We need five, but oh man, I don't know. What does this do for us? Four! Holy cow! Heals the bear's wounds over time, allowing them to regain health without focusing soul. Yeah, I can understand why that's awesome. I almost wonder if this and the king soul combo is worth overcharming for. I don't know. I don't know. I think. I feel. But I don't know. All right, well, let's see what this guy has to say for himself. Small thing, I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know I am not the queen you seek. It is the pale beings that bear blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Hollow Nest, we play no part in its attempt at perpetuation. To rail against nature is folly. All things must, must accept an end. So what is she called? Hive Queen Vespa. Interesting. Uh, not exactly what I was expecting, but... What is that in the background? Holy cow. It's huge and awesome looking. And apparently immobile. Okay, did I... Uh, so there was... Really? So that was it, huh? Just that. Alright. Yeah, you can even see that down there. Interesting. 
All right, high blood is very good. All this stuff is really good. I don't even know what to make of it, honestly. I'm gonna have to think a little bit about how I wanna load myself out. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so there's definitely a way to get from the other, or get there from the other side. It's just a matter of figuring that one out. There's also a couple of areas that we haven't been to yet, still. Um, yep, I see you. It's gonna be over here, so I should probably pay attention now. Hmm. Is it down there, maybe? Did I go in here? I think I did, right? Uh, have I been here? It's, yes, I have. This is underneath where I want to be. Um, hmm. Okay. Is there some way that I can get... Oh, you know what? I think I know what I need to do here. The game is very crafty about this, but I think I know what it's wanting me to do. First, let's get rid of these guys, because they're going to annoy me. the big fella. Uh, he's not... He's not respawned? Is that it? Oh, that's no good. Well, I think you know where I'm going with this. He can break those uh, cracked blocks, which means he could probably break this. But, he needs to be alive in order for that to happen, and he surely is not alive right now. <laughs> Which means I have to go all the way back. Okay, well, that's fine. Gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, oh, wow. Hey, I know where this is. Yep. Kind of stinks that you can't get through there, but... Yeah, that's, that's what led me to believe that there was more to the hive. Because uh, you can see this Geo from over there, and obviously if there's a big rock filled with Geo, there's going to be a way to get to it. I mean, there's just no question about it. It's, it's going to happen. Just barely avoiding these little bees. You know, no big deal. They seem to be the only things that respawn in here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Well, let's do this, since we're here. And that should... Uh, just be about it for this episode, I think. I mean, this is pretty cool that these trees are here, but... I really need a lot more of these. Although, did she... I don't remember now. Did she give me, like, a number? That was it, huh? She said something about being awakened, but... Was there something else afterwards? There's gotta be a reason. Or there's gotta be something else, otherwise... I'm not really sure why. I'm still gathering so much essence. I don't know. Could be wrong. Maybe we'll have to have a little bit of a talk with her as well. I know exactly what you're up to, little fella. And it doesn't scare me in the slightest. Excellent. Well, let's take a look at our map here. Oh, look at that. So we've explored everything, except for that one secret area. The hive. All right, well, this was... 
I wasn't actually expecting to answer all my questions, but uh, I was also expecting to get a lot farther than I did, and I wasn't sure this was going to be a huge area, so... Um, we can scratch one thing off the list, we can sort of half scratch the other one off the list because I know what I need for that uh, little place in the abyss. I need lots of life seed, but I'm not sure I'm going to do it. I have to think of it. There are a couple more things that I want to do. One of them is check out the Fool's Coliseum, and then the other one was a place that I'd been to a long time ago, the Lake of Un. Uh, from what I can tell, that's one of the few places that I haven't been to in a really long time, so we're going to go back there as well. But... We'll do that next episode. We'll get that last little mask piece and continue on. So thanks so much for watching this episode and join me next time as I continue the struggle.